help from down here because we always think using physical technique as, as your, your weapon. But you know, you're here, you have a lot more weapons. You know, you have the eyes as your weapon. You have the voice as your weapon, but you can use. Uh, so it's, it's not when you, when you count, it's not counting from here. One, two, it's counting so you can count through the person. So you're actually attacking with your voice. So when you're counting, uh, doing the kicks, don't just count, just to count. But think about counting and practice attacking somebody with your voice. You know, a lot of these other martial arts will go, hi ya, hi, you know, to, to kind of scare your opponent. Well, there's there's difference between scaring your opponent because you go, boo, you know, you're going to get scared. But, you know, you have to scare the, the person's spirit. You have to attack the person's spirit, not the physical body. Once you, see, once you knock the spirit kind of dizzy and then the body goes through, that's what you're going to do. Spirit doesn't move the body, it doesn't move the spirit controls the body. You guys always gotta attack the attack the spirit. And again, you do it through your voice, you do it through your eyes. Not all physical things. Isn't that more than one when you talk about fighting mind? Yeah, it's when you pull pull the person's key. Okay. Um there was a uh, uh, there was a uh, uh, experience that happened to me about this voice and talking and speaking. Uh, I was working on a construction site maybe about five years ago. Uh, it was this hospital that we were remodeling, just huge, pretty big. It must have been about 8,000 square feet. It was just empty. And there's jackhammers coming in, and there's uh, the noise, it's dusty, it's dark. Uh, and you usually have a partner that you work with. So my partner was on a scaffold, and it was kind of high, so he can maybe go up there and fix something. Right? So he stands on there, you know, standing maybe four meters high or something like that. So uh, really noisy, and it was like a lunch time. Lunch. And I would say I was from about maybe uh, from this corner to that corner and maybe another one that so twice the length of this. So it was really loud so I had to, you know, keep it up for lunch time and my loudest voice I could get. So I said, uh, hey Paul, this. And, and that projection of the boy, it kind of scared me. He almost fell down. He almost fell down with the scavenger. Oh, Jesus Christ. Be careful, I almost fell down. But you see how you're attacking the woman. Projecting that. So every time something will happen, you'll see the how do you learn it? Doing sounds, uh, listening to what we say, following the animals, practicing what we want to do. It will come. And again, like I said, something will happen to you where it won't come to your face and No, it just happens to you. You know what I mean?